Oh, Good a little you. bird told me you had some uh, Willy Wonka stuff? Yes, some props from the original film. Why, are you a fan? Yeah, the Gene Wilder Wonka. Okay, I'll tell you what. Make a wish, count to three, <laughs> and I'll be right back. I have this Willy Wonka collection. Five pieces, five props from this original 1971 film that I know Rick will flip over. The asking price for the Willy Wonka collection is $725,000. If he wants one thing, he's gonna have to pay up. Voila. Wow. Is that the hat? This is the original hat that Gene Wilder wore in the original film. Is that insane? I just have to do this? Looking pretty stylish. <laughs> <laughs> he had a small head. He did. Or I might have a fat head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the golden egg. It's heavy. OK. And a golden ticket? A genuine, screen-used golden ticket. <sighs> and to boot, Wonka bars. Those ones that they used on the set? Yeah. And they still haven't melted. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're props made of wood. Yeah. So where'd you get all this stuff? We bought it at auction. And uh, the one big thing is that you want to make sure, obviously, it's authentic. And even with the photo matches, we wanted to know the lineage and where it came from. The crazy thing is that each one of these pieces, these props, came from Julie Don Cole, who played Veruca Salt. So what better can you get than from her? That's amazing. And what is that? What would you want it to be? Oh, my God. That's I, the real deal? I don't know, is it? Is it the everlasting gobstopper? Yeah. That's I, the real deal? I'm even getting chills holding it. It's like the Hope Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about being oh. speechless. But yeah, that's like the Holy Grail. When I was seven years old, that's the one thing I remember was the everlasting gobstopper. It just sounded like the most amazing thing in the world with all the different flavors, and it lasts forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the centerpiece of the whole film. So yeah, Slugworth uh, came to Charlie and you know told him he'd give him a bunch of money if he stole the everlasting gobstopper. Yep. And at the end, Charlie turned around and just gave it back to Willy Wonka, and that's when the Willy Wonka gave the factory. Yes. It's crazy, too, because the movie was a flop. And then the 80s came out and video came out. It just turned into, like, the greatest thing ever. It's like a cult classic. It's still popular to this day. So how much do you want for the Gobstopper? Gosh. Um, that is the centerpiece of the film, which if we sell that, that's definitely breaking up the aesthetics of the whole collection. So um, I'm going to give you one price, and that's that. I, I got to stick with $100,000 for the Gobstopper. Might be a crazy price for the Everlasting Gobstopper, but let's face it, it's the Everlasting Gobstopper. It is literally, in my mind, the greatest movie prop ever. It was your favorite film. If you throw in a Wonka bar. So that means that I'd literally be giving you... A Wonka bar. A Wonka bar. <laughs> and that's breaking up the set, though. It's not really a set. They were just, you know, it's just, it's, yeah. they were just Wonka bars. I mean, they're like... But... I'll tell you what. I would give you one Wonka bar, and I'd give you the Everlasting Gobstopper for 115000 But you can do it for 100000 No. All right, so $105,000, and I get a Wonka bar. I'm going to miss that everlasting gobstopper. Sweet! You got a deal. It's like the fountain of youth. I'm seven years old again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are crazy pricey, but putting these things in the shop will bring people in my shop. They're in amazing condition. They have all the provenance in the world. They're 100% legit. They are wanted, and these collectors pay insane money. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.